I'm Elena, and I would like to talk today about gemstones and gemstones beauty treatments. We all heard about gemstones, facials for $7,000, diamonds, rubies, 24 carats gold used every day now in beauty industry. Finally, our beauty industry uh, recognized the ability of gemstones to help us. They do not work on a chemical level. They do not really need to be penetrated in the skin. They work energetically. They have certain charges which actually stimulate our skin, help to regenerate collagen, help to create that lifting process very quickly. And for a long time, uh, that information wasn't considered scientific, proved, scientifically proved, and it's still not scientifically proved. But why more and more mainstream companies use gemstone elixirs, use gemstones extracts in their creams? Because they work. And one day science will take a look closer and explain why. But in the meantime, it's not going to hurt us to use diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds for our beauty treatments. Today, during the gemstone facial, I will use uh, different things. I will use elixirs, which infused with strong uh, energies from diamonds, sapphires, emeralds. And why I need elixirs? First of all, it's fabulous. Um, fabulous uh, serums for the face, but also they infused with high, high, high quality stones, which we wouldn't be able to afford for our facial room, because it's hard to imagine this kind size of diamond, um, you know, used for facial. Uh, that's why we use elixirs, and we will actually use a clear quartz um, sphere, massage the elixir into the skin. And clear quartz and diamonds, they have some similarity. They can amplify, amplify energy. And that's why both of those stones been used around the face, around the head traditionally. So we will use elixirs and we will use different stones actually which we can afford in the form of tools like rose quartz. It's uh, very good for rejuvenation of the skin and stimulate positive emotions. We will use amethyst uh, because amethyst is very anti-inflammatory, healing, calming. It's fabulous for um, the uh, problem complexion, um, reduce the redness. We will use sapphires and uh, sapphires wants made from industrial sapphires, which is not expensive, but because we're going to use sapphire um, mask, uh, which has strong infusion of really high quality sapphire, together they will do the trick. And I promise you, you will love the result. What am I doing? I'm using uh, French press to make herbal tea. I blended different herbs together and poured hot water uh, to make the tea. And you can use just this simple French press or you can use a tea maker. We use tea during the facial for any procedure. We use it for removing the makeup, we're using it for making the compresses, to cleanse the skin. So whatever you will use to make a tea, French press, in another way, welcome to do that. And we're starting with cleansing Alicia's face. I will use my um, actually gentle cleanser uh, in the process and we will remove the makeup and cleanse your skin, prepare it for vacuuming and extractions.
Okay, now we're ready to vacuum. Without vacuuming your skin, you can't call it clean. It's the same like your rug. By picking it up, you does, don't make it clean. Every single pore stores some impurities from inside or from outside pollutions. So we need to make sure before we're doing anything, any procedure, skin is vacuumed. Okay, skin is vacuumed. And something which didn't pick up by vacuuming, we have to extract. After we're done with extractions, no matter what method we used, we need to make sure we sanitize the skin again. And I will use my oil control formula to sanitize the skin because it has salicylic acid, which is actually antibacterial. Um, uh, and uh, I will apply oil control formula. And sometimes people uh, say to me, what you will do for people who is not oily? We call oil control formula, oil control formula, but it's actually antiseptic cooling and calming serum. And um, you can use it on any skin type right after extraction. Next step, we exfoliating skin with sapphire mask. It has little micro tiny particles of sapphires and it's practically, you can't feel it, but it is exfoliating. I simply massaging the mask and the mask is practically invisible. So people who use that mask at home can run to the grocery store having mask on and nobody will know they have in their mask. But more and more I massage the mask in, more and more micro exfoliation, polishing skin process happens. So your skin gets more and more polished. Additionally to sapphires, we will use honey granules. I will just mix the honey granules and I will mix them with umbra lift. And we will do like amber honey treatment. Both amber and honey have warming effect on the skin. And honey granules will slowly melt into the skin and exfoliate skin and nourish in the same time. And slowly, your skin getting stickier and stickier because of the honey and we're going to perform actually gemstone massage over sticky honey ember sapphire infused skin it's traditional in Siberia um, it's called honey massage. Uh, people used to do it all over the body and still doing it over the body um, in the steam room because it's very detoxifying and stimulating for the skin. Now we're going to use green jade rollers to do that honey gemstone massage over Alicia's skin. And you will see how sticky her skin and how those rollers will kind of massage it with that sticky, sticky feel.
green jade known with their healing properties um, in Chinese and Ayurvedic traditions ones from green jade used a lot to calm inflammation um, to take the pain away to energize the skin I will use rose quartz spheres, not only for skin regeneration. Alicia is very young and beautiful. Um, rose quartz stimulate positive emotions, similar to chocolate. Yellow jade also has lots of healing properties. And yellow uh, stones generally believed in being very helpful with hyperpigmentation and um, freckles. So we will find out how it's effective, but we will use larger jade stone spheres uh, on the areas where we need more lifting maybe, maybe firming, maybe kind of tightening down. Usually it's that area. And over this sticky mask, uh, you will see how it's kind of firming. Next step is application of amber mask. In this mask, I use lots of herbs, including spirulina, but also it has a green and yellow amber powders. And I will mix this mask with my herbal tea. Because in my line, I don't have any liquid masks. It's very hard to preserve liquid herbal mask because you wouldn't be able to preserve it naturally so that's why all my masks coming in the powdered forms and they actually mixed with herbal tea right before the application so i'm going to mix it right right consistency before i apply
And I apply this amber mask right on the top on our previous uh, treatments. So I remind you, we have sapphire mask first, then honey granules mixed with amber leaf. And now, on the top of that mixture, we applying amber firming mask. My Amber Lift, it's bioenergetic elixir, which transdermal, it has ability to penetrate deep. Um, so I didn't need to use any equipment to penetrate um, the previous masks, because Sapphire masks also has the deep um, ability to penetrate deep into the skin. This masks just made from the herbs and uh, amber, so it's not um, deep delivery masks, so you can use uh, different um, uh, ways to penetrate that mask. For um, people, for example, who do not want to use any electrical tools, you can use rollers, like rose quartz, or maybe you can use ones which uh, with green tourmaline uh, and do the massage with those gemstones. You can use galvanic machine, uh, you can use high frequency, you can use ultrasonic equipment or LED. Some people, if they're pregnant, for example, or if they're sensitive to different electrical currents, some people generally um, don't like any electrical equipment to be used on their face for different reasons, peacemaker or in other health um, reasons, uh, they still will benefit from color therapy over the mask. And I will use very, very gentle LEDs with different, uh, with different diodes to do gentle skin rejuvenation with color therapy. I can use all colors like yellow, red, green, infrared and blue, like a one big rainbow because each color delivers certain result, certain benefit to the skin. Or you can use just um, solo one color like red for stimulation and rejuvenation, uh, collagen buildup, yellow for hyperpigmentation, blue for antibacterial effect. Um, so if you would like to learn more about color therapy, you can read about it, it's lots of information. So this is another optional um, equipment to use for our gemstones. You don't have to do that, but I think it will enhance the procedure. And because LED very gentle, we don't even need to protect the eye area. Uh, of course, with more powerful LED or cold lasers, you will use um, uh, eye protection. Uh, esthetician will use and uh, that eye uh, special glasses, go and uh, the client will wear special goggles. But this is a very gentle color therapy devices. Uh, which could be even used in around the eye area too. It's very relaxing. 
Actually, it's energy treatment too, because I consider gemstone facial energy treatment, and this is um, also energy. I made the compresses from my warm, lukewarm herbal tea, and will, I will apply them on the skin. And I will perform light, deep reflexology massage over the compresses. And um, I would like to remind you, through the face, similarly like through the feet, you can be connected to each organ of the body. Because face, like feet, have a similar amount of reflexology points. So by doing proper reflexology massage on the face, we're improving all over health of your client. We're slowly removing the mask by rolling it into the towel. You see how refreshed your skin look. I will spray botanical toner. Emerald, a restoring eye elixir. We're gonna use on your delicate eye area and on the neck. Also, I love to use sapphire ones. Those little inexpensive industrial sapphires, they still um, can be very helpful if we're using them uh, right on the top of the emerald elixirs and doing the very delicate reflexology massage. Sapphires are very beneficial for the eye area as well because the blue uh, stones, it has also deep, uh, calming, rejuvenating properties. By the way, Ivan the Terrible, that not very pleasant 
a uh, Russian Tsar, Imperial, um, used sapphires uh, for everything. He believed like sapphire energy can heal anything in his body and he was pretty healthy. I can't say he was very kind, but... <laughs> Angel lights, those blue cooling stones, actually having that really nice calming, cooling, relaxing energy, which is wonderful for delicate eye area. Diamond Firming Elixir. Uh, you can use every day at home, but I would love to finish my gemstone facials with application of Diamond Elixir because it is the ultimate energy for the face. And probably you will notice uh, when I apply the Diamond Elixir, um, it's really visibly changing the skin, visibly rejuvenating the skin. And I also would like to use um, those diamonds. It's not perfect diamonds, but they're still diamonds. And I would like to apply them on the third eye area for additional energy treatment in that area. Uh, and while they are there I will do a little reflexology massage. And of course, before we're going outside, we need to protect our face um, with my Sun Shelter Makeup Moisturizer, which is not really foundation, because it is a moisturizer with zinc oxide, high quantity of zinc oxide, and also with natural minerals, which can help us to bring it to the um, skin color of the client. And uh, we're always um, adjusting the color based on each client. Um, and we train our estheticians to do that. But you don't even need to do adjustment of the color in the final application, uh, right in the end of the facial, because you will just blend it with a little bit of diamond elixir. And that way, um, it's not important. You can apply that color, even an African-American uh, person, even that light color, simply because it's not enough, uh, the pigments there. Um, but it's plenty of zinc oxide, which helps to reflect harmful UVA and UVB ultraviolet rays. And it's very, very important because before we allowing our client to go outside. So Alicia, how do you feel? Absolutely amazing. 
Did you have any interesting experiences? I feel like there's when you applied the diamond, there was a white light all around me. It was like I feel like my skin is still glowing. Really? So you felt when I applied diamond elixir lights? Mm -hmm. Many clients white. actually commenting on that. Did you ever felt anything from just the white lights? And then when you put the third eye, those diamonds, the diamonds, mm -hmm. then it was all different colors, rainbows, swirls, all bright lights. Wonderful. Some people energetically sensitive, some people not that much energetically sensitive, no matter do you see the lights or not, can you see energy or not, it's still affecting your body and it still will be beneficial for your skin and you will see results. So I hope you, dear our institutions, will start using this protocol in your practices because I'm pretty sure your clients will love it. And I would like to tell you, thank you very much for watching, being with me today, and good luck. <laughs>